Hey FlossTube, welcome to this special edition of Creative Women Studio. Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I hope you like what you see and you'll hit the subscribe button. I have a new release and this time it's just one book. It's called Hello Autumn. It's been in the making for a very long time. The books showed up about half an hour, 45 minutes ago. So we are ready to ship. So by the time you see this video, you're, you're LNSs will be able to place orders. They will already be informed about everything that's in the book. So we are ready to start shipping. I've been really into scarecrows lately. <laughs> As you might have seen some videos from the Primitive Gatherings retreat that I just went to um, a couple weekends ago. Yeah, I love scarecrows. So this book has all things autumn, scarecrows, leaves, I mean, just all the fun things that come with autumn. I wish we could do like a scratch and sniff because, you know, my favorite smell is autumn. But anyways, I'm excited to share this with you. I do want to let you know that you're probably going to get sick of me this week because after this video, I am recording my floss tube video and then I'm also going to do a separate video for the Primitive Gathering Retreat. So there'll be three videos from me this week. So hang in there. I'll try not to keep any of them too long but anyways so here's the cover of the book the, the mm. shining star of this particular book is the hello autumn sampler so here's what it looks like in the book but i do have the stitched in the stitched piece here so on the front is tammy easterling's ffo and then this is mine so I included both of them. I think that her picture turned out better than mine. <laughs> so I used hers for the cover. So let's go over everything that's in the book. So here is my Hello Autumn that hangs down here in my studio. I love this piece. This was a Patreon design from I think 2021. I can't remember. I think it was 2021. Pretty sure. Like 95% sure. Okay, so while you take a look at that, I will give you all the details. So the cover, like I said, the cover model was stitched by and photographed by Tammy Easterling. And she stitched hers two over two on 16 count fawn by Picture This Plus. This one here that's in my hand, this model <clears throat> excuse me, was stitched by Jerry Inglis and she stitched one over two on 40 count platinum by Wichelt. The frame is from pictureframes.com and I sent the frame and the stitched piece to Paula at Craft Gallery and she framed it for me. And as you can see, <laughs> I didn't leave a lot of room around the stitching. This is why you hire people to do your framing because I would have liked a little bit more room around there, but the stitch count for this is 187 by 186. This is stitched with all DMC except for one Weeks Dye Works Indian Summer, which is, you know, that nice variegated red. So as you can see, that barn turned out spectacular if you stitch it up and down. It, there's, um, that's Indian corn and I think, um, yeah, and then DMC 22. Okay, so I have a little funny story about DMC 22. On my on my old laptop, DMC 22 is called venison, and I remember thinking that is super weird. Like I like eating venison, okay? But to name a floss color that is kind of strange, but I mean that's what my program called it. My new computer, my new laptop, 22 is called alizarin, which makes way more sense. So in this book, 
22 is called venison, but it's really alizarin. Anyways, it's a DMC 22. So I love that scarecrow. He's so stinking cute. I think he's so fun. I love, now this is interesting too. So see how ghosty these birds are? So those birds were originally the darkest color, which would be just like a dark brown. There's no, I don't think there's any black in here other than the scarecrow's eyes. But yeah, it's mostly just dark browns and just shades of brown. Well, they were the dark color and I don't know, you know, in the computer program, in the designing program, you can like take a color and just like, okay, let's say they're the dark brown and I had other things dark brown and I'm like, oh, I don't like all that stuff being dark brown. So then I go in and I change the dark brown to, you know, a real light brown. Well, it changes everything in there to it, to that color, that new color that you choose. And so they were kind of ghosty and I'm like, you know what? I really love that look. I really love those birds being ghosty. I think if they were dark, they'd still look cool, but I think it would pull away from all the things. It might get too busy. I love the white lumina pumpkins in here. As you can see, there are three pumpkins in there and they're all white. I love the butter, the white butterflies and the squirrel on top of the barn. He's precious. So yeah, this is Hello Autumn. So in case you haven't figured it out, <laughs> and I probably have mentioned this before. So my first Hello book was Hello Halloween. That was last fall. So this fall we have Hello Autumn. In Nashville, in March, at the Nashville market, the wholesale market for the shops to come to, I'm going to come out with Hello Spring. So I'm going to have this huge just ongoing series of hellos, hello books. I, in the works, I have Hello Santa, Hello Christmas. I, you know, I'll probably do a Hello Halloween 2 or squared. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it because I have a lot of Halloween and I have a lot of fall. Another one I'm going to do is Hello Home. I'm in the works putting that one together. So all of the different like seasons and, um, I want to do Hello Stitchy Girls, and it's going to be all my Stitchy Girl stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I want to do a Hello Biscore new. I, like, I can go on and on, and I need to stop. But you can see where that could go. There's a lot of different options for that. Next in the book, we have Harvest Scarecrow. Now, the front cover, not the front cover, but the front inside cover, is the original painting that inspired Harvest Scarecrow. So that is the original painting. And then here is the cross-stitch interpretation. I do have that model here. I don't have all the models. There are eight designs in this book and I only have four of the models. Here is my model. I love it so much. You know what? My battery's about to die, so I'll be right back. Also, I want to mention sprinkled throughout the book are little pieces of artwork that I took actually from my fabric line. I have a fabric line coming out July of 2024 and it is called bittersweet farm so i took some of my art from that and peppered it all through the book okay so let's get back onto harvest scarecrow the stitch count of this is 168 by 143 the model is stitched by jan croon one over one on 40 count brea by needle and flax this is a lot of DMC with three weeks dye works, and I always give the DMC equivalent for any over dyed floss. This, I didn't put this in the book, but this frame, let's see. I use pictureframe.com, and the other one is, I don't remember. I don't know. I will put it up here. It should be across the bottom of the screen. I can't remember. 
But I think this is from the other company I buy for from. But I've, I framed this one myself. I wanted it to fit really tight, as you can see. The pumpkins, when you stitch it, the pumpkins are they're kind of cut off. Um, looking back on that, I wish I would have went ahead and finished the pumpkins and just made that a little bit longer. But if you frame it nice and tight, it's kind of cool because it just looks like, like you're looking out a window and you're seeing this scarecrow. I love his little face. He's got a couple little blackbirds with him. Some Lumina pumpkins and some standard orange ones too. But I thought this frame just really pulled out the oranges in the piece. Here's a little example of some of the artwork. That little guy, he was in the cross-stitch piece that I did for the Primitive Gatherings retreat a couple weekends ago. It says, with every deed you are sowing a seed, though the harvest you may not see. All right, so next in the book, we have Folksy Thomas. Now, Folksy Thomas, I do not have stitched myself, so I don't have a model here. Let me find it in the other. I have a second book here, so I can look at all the details. So while you're taking a gander at that, Okay, so let me get it centered. There we go. So the stitch count is 150 by 133. The model stitched, framed, and photographed by Donna Letsky. One over two on 36 count Alien from the Alien from the Moon by XJU Designs. I love him. I love that he's wearing a top hat, and I love that he is running for his life. Like maybe. The farmer is getting ready for Thanksgiving, and this turkey says, No way, Jose. I'm out of here. I love the folk art feel of this piece. It's just so fun. I love the patterns in the turkey as well. Isn't he funky? No, he's folksy. Folksy Thomas. <laughs> By the way, Folksy Thomas was a Patreon from 2022. So I've said this before. It's something I feel like I need to say often because I don't want to get people confused and I hear misquotes about this on FlossTube quite a bit or on Instagram. I do not release all of the Patreon charts a year after they have been designed. Some of them, like for instance, that first one, Hello Autumn, that was from two years ago. There are some that I will maybe never release or it might be five or six years or, you know, just it just depends. There are some that will release a year after, but um, I just wanna make that clear. So next we have Harvest Ted and Harvest Tina. So Harvested, he was Patreon 20, Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm not sure now. Uh, I think he was Patreon 2021. I think he was, but I don't remember. Anyways, so he was first, and then someone said, oh, you're going to do, you know, a companion to him, right? And I'm like, well, that is really a great idea. So then we have Harvestina. So we have Harvested and Harvestina. All right, let me give you all the details on that. So they are the same stitch count. There's a chart, that's why this white paper is there. There we go. Stitch count 50 by 92, stitched, framed, and photographed by Shelly Nichols. Two over two on 28 count, garden path from color and cotton. So she stitched them on the same fabric. She used two different frames with the same color, which I think is very cool. So cute. I just recently saw someone in my Patreon group, they stitched them side by side, and then they just left out the vine in the center, so they're together. That was very cute. Next we have Autumn. This is what it looks like in the book. That's the Autumn page, just some little artwork down there. But I do have the model of this one. 
Autumn stitch count is 113 by 36, stitched by Karen Simmons, 1 over 2 on 36 count Hesha, Hesha by Under the Sea Fabrics. I'll put on the screen how to spell that. Evidently, I don't know how to read. <laughs> but it was so nice to use uh, some Under the Sea Fabrics because I really love her fabric. And, you know, I try my best to use you know his a variety of fabrics and branching out a little bit more as i go so this one is one classic no two classic color works and the rest dmc of course i give the dmc equivalent this frame i actually purchased from craft gallery when i was there one time it was so funny because i just love this this bead beaded inlay or whatever you would call it and it was funny because she bought this it was originally she had bought a frame for one of my models okay and she didn't like the color or I want to say it comes thicker and she thought it needed to be a wider molding so she just chopped it up and made smaller frames Okay, or she had them do it. I don't know how that worked out. But anyways, I was at her shop just looking around and I'm always looking for frames just to have on hand. And I saw this one, I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. And I noticed on the back it said, Teresa. I don't think it said Colgate, maybe it did. But it had my name on the back. I'm like, what well, is that meant to be or what? So anyways, I framed that one myself and then I used uh, Lady Dot Creates. It's not dirty face lace, it's a darker color. I can't remember, but uh, if you look on her Etsy shop, I'll list her Etsy shop below in the description box. But I just needed a little bit of height because this is a very narrow, this would be a really cute narrow pillow, but I wanted to use this frame for it. And so I just needed something to add at the bottom and I thought that turned out really cute. So it's a little scarecrow guy for the tea in autumn. Next we have Sunflower Sam. That's what it looks like in the book. And I do have a model here of that one. And here it is. Sunflower Sam. One classic color works in one week's dye works and the rest are all DMC. The stitch count is 106 by 123 stitched by Mary Schreiner. One over two on 36 count velt by Picture This Plus. I loved the modeling in this fabric. So, um, but one thing that I can say is that if you do stitch on this fabric, I would darken the leaves of the sunflowers. I, you know, I sent the model out and I, I thought that the green would show up really well. But as you can see, it kind of blends into the background. Not that I'm not totally disliking that because I like some ghostiness of, you know, I like that. But I think it would look better if the green was a little bit darker shade. But he's so stinking cute anyways. Look at his face, guys. Look at his face. I love him. Look at there's a flying bird. Pete, it's a flying bird. <laughs> That's an inside joke. Okay, so what else can I tell you about this guy? Other than I he was from one of my original paintings, and the original painting is also used in that Gathering Bittersweet fabric line that's coming out next year. Oh, this frame. This frame, believe it or not, is the same frame that I used on Wisdom that I painted kind of like a rosy pink, not pink, I would say a rose red color. And I'll put it, I'll insert a picture so you can see it. Well, this is the same frame, but I went over it with like a brown and kind of dry brushed it so it looks really like antique old and scuffed up. It almost looks like barnwood to me, except for the scroll part, of course. 
but I just thought that looked really cool. And that frame, again, it was either from picture this or picture this, pictureframe.com or the other company that I use, which I'm gonna have to look up for you. Okay, last but not least, we have Autumnal Bliss. I do not have the model here. I'm actually stitching this one. And it's kind of funny because the fabric I'm stitching on is this orange rust color that this pillow, the trim on this pillow is. I, it, it looks really good on this color as well. So let me give you the details. The stitch count is 122 by 124. The model stitched, finished, and photographed by Terry Croxton stitched on mystery fabric. She wasn't sure what fabric that she used. So that's why it says mystery fabric in here. Has one classic color works, five DMC and five weeks dye works. And then, like I said, I'm stitching this myself because I love this design so much and I will be uh, showing that in my next floss too, my progress. I made a little bit of progress on it. Um, a tiny bit at the retreat and then some this morning actually. So that's called Altominal Bliss. And then here is the back of the book. And I just want to say thank you to all of the people that, all of my model stitchers, and then all of the people that uh, contributed to the book by, you know, sending me their photos of their fully finished pieces in order to com complete this book. You know, there were about three more designs I had picked out to put in this book. I could have made the charts smaller and maybe put in one or two more designs in here, but I want you to be able to read them. I want you to be able to read the charts. The charts are all full color. Uh, I believe all of them have the two row layover. Uh, I know some people like that and some people don't. Um, I think the majority likes it though. Um, and you know, I put I put on the the inside page, you know, what you need to know right here. I do say at the bottom that if you need to make copies, uh, a working copy of these books, you know, that's fine. I mean, if you need to blow it up or you want to copy it all and then piece it together so you have like a big map of it, I totally get it. I, I think, you know, if whatever helps, whatever works to help you enjoy your stitching and make, make it easier for you, I'm all for that. So that is it. So when I was at Primitive Gatherings, I had these four models here and I had a sign that said coming soon. I knew I had already ordered the book. I was waiting for the proof to come. Um, I'm getting hardcover proofs from now on to make sure that I have the right paper and everything. Um, so anyways, uh, that came while I was gone. And uh, anyways, <laughs> I offered pre-ordering so all the people at the retreat if they wanted to pre-order the book they had to pay for it and then uh, theirs will be shipping out tomorrow so they're gonna have their hot little hands on their books before everybody else so I was really happy to be able to offer that so I don't know what else to say about this book other than you know I know it's it's maybe a little bit late in this season I would have loved for, for this to come out uh, in August was the plan when I had my August release but you know, just so busy, so busy with everything in fabric deadlines and everything that I just, I didn't have time to get it done for August. So anyways, I hope that you enjoy what you see in here. I hope that um, it inspires you to want to stitch some cute autumn things, even if you get the book and you have it for um, stitching so that next autumn you have it ready. But anyways, thanks for joining me today and we will see you in the next video, which will only be a couple days away. All right, thanks again. And don't forget that this is ready. This is ready to ship. We got the order in today. And so by the time, like I said, by the time you see this, all the shops will have all the information. Also, I wanna let you know too, whenever I have a new release on my blog, TeresaCogut.com, I will have all of the photos of the models plus the symbol chart that shows all of the floss, the stitch count, and all of the, um, fabric that was used. So that way, if you want to order all of that together from your LNS, that's why I offer that. So there you go. I think that's it. I'm probably forgetting something. If so, there'll be a little add-on at the end of this video. All right. Don't forget, create every day. Bye now.